Let me tell you about the state of affairs of this world today. This photo that you see is a mother and son. Her name is Kendria M. Grisby. She's 42 years old and she's a teacher at a, I don't know if they're still calling them vocational schools or ILS schools. I, you know, I don't know what they call them these days, but that's what she does. She's a teacher there. And beside her is her 22-year-old son, Roger McGee. Now, in case you're wondering, why are these two posed in this picture? Well, that's because it's a mugshot. You see, Kendra M. Grisby was arrested and charged with... Um, three counts of compelling prostitution of someone under the age of 18, ex-trafficking a child, and she was arrested inside her classroom and her phone was seized. Now, these students that she was recruiting were students, students at the school where she taught, and she would recruit these young ladies, and police believe that there's you know, at least eight, and they think that there's more out there that they probably need to find, but she would recruit them, groom them, and then turn them over to her son. Her son, Roger, 22, who is a pimp, and he would pimp these girls out. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Roger McGee. He was arrested back in November 2022 after a runaway teenager made an outcry statement to the Harris County Sheriff's Office. I know I did not say this happened in the state of Texas. I'm sorry. When I do these stories, I, I have to remember to start off with telling you where these crimes happened, the state. So this runaway young lady told the sheriff's office that she was being trafficked for X and she told deputies that Roger McGee was her pimp. Fast forward into present time, he is um, part of this, they're calling it an enterprise that he helped run along with his mother. Now Kendra, Kendria McGee of course, the day she was arrested, she was relieved of her duties that same day. She had been a teacher at Klein ISD School since 2019, and she was a cosmetology teacher. Now, the school district says that she passed all the background checks that the district requires for all their employees. Now, according to this 13 page warrant, oh, Grisby booked the hotel rooms um, and investigators believe she received payments through Cash App and Zelle for the transactions and her son used the car to transport the victims to wherever it is they needed to go. If it wasn't, I guess, I guess they, they call that in call, I guess, I don't know. Today, we are learning new details about a disturbing allegations against a Klein ISD cosmetology teacher. This afternoon, Kedra Grigsby and her son are both behind bars on charges of child sex trafficking and prostitution. Michelle Choi has the latest from court. Yeah, Kedra Grigsby waived her initial court appearance this morning. She was given a total bond of $750,000. The 42-year-old mother and her son, 21-year-old Roger McGee, are accused of recruiting and trafficking teenage victims. The allegation is that Ms. Grigsby, um, in conjunction with her son Roger, uh, was operating a prostitution enterprise with three female juvenile 
complaining witnesses, at least three. According to Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, the victims were 15, 16 and 17 year old students and reported runaways. It's alleged Grigsby recruited troubled juveniles from local high schools by offering them a place to stay at a motel. The investigating officer evidently determined that uh, there is at least one occasion where Ms. Grigsby had paid for the motel room that was uh, used in the prostitution enterprise. Grigsby is accused of transporting the victims too. In court, prosecutors said at least two of the teens were seen in a car allegedly driven by Grigsby at the motel. We also learned Grigsby and her son allegedly used Zell to transfer money. Investigators say they found text messages between the two talking about payments and fees, as well as messages sent between her son and the victims. According to Klein ISD, Grigsby is a certified cosmetology teacher at Klein Kane High School. We're told she was hired back in 2019 and passed a background check at the time. The district says Grigsby was immediately relieved of her teaching duties and placed on administrative leave Monday after they learned about her arrest, which they say happened off campus and parents were notified shortly after. The district says they weren't aware of the allegations or her alleged connection to her son, who investigators say was arrested in 2022 for similar charges until yesterday when the sheriff's office alerted them. At this time, Grigsby, who we learn lives with her husband and two children, is charged with three counts of trafficking a child and three counts of compelling prostitution of juveniles, but will likely face additional charges, according to prosecutors who anticipate more victims to come forward. Grigsby is expected to face a judge in criminal court tomorrow morning. Back to you. Now, the school district is receiving a lot of criticism because it is said that they were made aware of these allegations against her close to almost a year ago and nothing was done. And, you know, one of the, the biggest people criticizing the district is, of course, Quan X. And the district is denying this. They said that they didn't know, they weren't aware of anything. But in true Quanell X form, he has proof. Now, I have this clip here, and I wasn't going to play the whole thing. I was just going to play a little bit of what Quanell X was saying. But as I watched it again, I thought, no, this whole clip needs to be played. Um, now, if you want to fast forward to my outro, because I, I have opinions on this clip, you certainly can. But I really think that this press conference was very important and showed a lack of responsibility or even interest. If I were accused of something, and I'm saying, oh, no, that did not happen. I'm going to run my mouth. Oh, no, you're not going to stand up here and accuse me of this, that, and the third. And I'm not going to respond in any way, shape, or form. So it's very interesting to watch this clip. And I do hope you watch it. So the truth, this is one of the most horrendous stories we have ever had to deal with. And my history as an activist, we're talking about a teacher a trusted servant teacher on a high school campus recruiting prostitutes from her students to work for her son as their pimp. This teacher, Miss Grisby, was allowed to remain on this campus after it was brought to the school administrator's attention that this was taking place in February of 23. This was brought to their attention, but the same administrators, instead of thoroughly investigating the complaint, they retaliated against the teacher who brought it to their attention. When I spoke with the district the other day, I said, how could you not know or tell the parents about all of this? They swore for God that they did not know. They swore for God that they had no information about this until law enforcement called them and say, we're going to arrest Miss Grisby today. Well, I say to Klein, Kane administrators, you a damn lie. We got the proof. Where's the dog? Open it up. Open it up. Let me show these lying snakes here at this school. And we want all the parents to see this. 
Here's a complaint back in February 23, a sworn statement by the teacher that named Miss Grisby, that named what law enforcement brought to her attention. Law enforcement went to her house about her daughter who was one of the victims and she came the next day and informed the school of what was happening in detail in the statement about the prostitution ring. Who's the teacher that was involved and the young man's name that was involved. And the school district took a statement in the office with the principal and the district representative. And now you lying snakes want to tell the public that you had, you had no idea about Miss Grisby. Oh no, that's a lie. We got it right here. We got text messages where she's texting back and forth with school administrators talking about what she brought to their attention. But yet they did nothing. The principal should be terminated. And I would say to the police chief, why they never brought it to your attention? It was brought to their attention. We got the documents. It was brought to their attention in detail in February of 23. Why they didn't do a duty, brother, to speak to you as police chief? You should do your job now and start indicting these officials at this school for failure to notify. They didn't notify law enforcement and they did not notify the parents. And as parents, they had a right to know that their children were a part of a prostitution ring. And you left the teacher after the report was given, after the case number with Harris County Sheriff's Department was given. You left that teacher on this campus to a few days ago. She was allowed to remain for a few days ago. This don't pass the smell test. All of y'all should be fired. Well, they always say the chicken's gonna come home to roost. So back in November of 2022, Roger, which is the son of Ms. Grisby was arrested, okay? This information was brought to the district by this former teacher back on February 21st, 2023. Okay, so when this teacher brought it to Ms. Nicole Payton, uh, Shayna Jobert Go ahead. and Robert Cabal Call the names. Uh, was who she spoke to on that campus on February 21st, 2023. Carrie Evel, E L V E, is one who took the statement on February 21st, 2023. Miss Davis is who came to the campus and called the principal as well as this former teacher in to either for her to demand to resign or to be terminated because she blew the whistle on Ms. Grisby because her daughter was involved. This, this same parent reached out to me, this parent slash teacher reached out to me back in 2023 because when her daughter was caught in the hotel back in 2022, the daughter had charges on her. And so she ended up getting legal counsel. So then when she got the legal counsel, then her daughter was no longer in trouble. They found out that the daughter was the victim. Wow. Okay. So then, so when we go from there, we got emails in <laughs> reference to after the whistle was blown, then we got retaliation. Back in February 24th, 2023, Point that was up. sent. There's the right there. Okay, so this email was sent to Carrie E L V E L V, which is with Klein ISD. Name the date. On February 24th, 2023, at 11 05 a.m., talking about new concerns. Okay? Then it was brought with that response was that they were unable to meet with this teacher wow. when she was trying to state the concerns and also provided evidence about what was going on. But about remember, February 23rd is when she reported. She reported on February 23rd to district officials. And on February 24th, they were talking about having a meeting with her. You understand? A secondary meeting. So I just cannot wait since the district officials are here. Y'all are here, right? Are, are y'all here? Mm -hmm. Our cat got your tongue now. So I can't wait for you all to come on up here. 
and tell us oh. what you've been telling to the public but that you did not know about this. But wait a minute. But then it was another email that was sent on February 21st, which was the very first email. February 21st, 2023 at 523 p.m. by the former teacher where it states evidence of allegations. The, the former teacher provided evidence of the text messages that this young man who is now locked up in Harris County that was sending to her directly, threatening her. So this was also sent to Miss Carrie Elvey on February 21st, 2023. And this teacher asked to be remained anonymous. We're going to step out of the way now and let the district respond. Excuse us. Yeah, let us get over here. Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara gives you the look of professional lash extensions. Our award-winning formula dramatically lengthens and strengthens lashes with all... Are, are y'all coming? We want y'all to talk. Y'all not coming? But wait a minute. Didn't you and I talk? Didn't we talk? Didn't you tell me you all didn't know nothing about this? You told me that, sir. He probably did. No, 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 no. You told me, sir, that you all knew nothing about this. I demand you apologize to the parents because you all did know. You told me a lie and you told the media a lie that you didn't know anything about this. How could you embarrass the district and embarrass parents with a lie like that? And you left a pimp, you left a sex trafficking pimp of a teacher on campus from February 23rd to April 24th in 2024. That's a long time. No, man, y'all got to answer for this. The lies must come to an end now. Right now. So we'll take questions from y'all since the cat got their tongue. They don't want to talk all of a sudden now. What would you like to hear from the district as far as, I, I know that, Quanell, you said that you guys want accountability here, right? They need to wipe the administration clean. Fire the principal and every district official and representative who knew about this and did not notify the parents and did not pull that teacher off campus. For them to have that sensitive information, police reports, sworn statements, they left that teacher on campus when details was given about her involvement and what she was doing. I want to see them all fired. And then I want to see those who should be charged with failure to report, charged with failure to report, for that is a state law. And you said this former teacher who um, reported this to not only the sheriff's office, but to the district, she at the time wanted to remain anonymous, but she she did bring it to the district's attention. Yes. What was going on? And they told, they talked to Miss Grisby, sure did. And they had the nerve to tell that woman who reported it. And then her son tried to retaliate against the teacher who blew the whistle. And that's when she made the terroristic threat report and had the text messages of Miss Grisby's son threatening her. Hit a short again. Short again. This is this is the threatening text messages after the district blew her cover to Miss Grisby and she told her son, Man, look here, Chief. I'm sorry, Chief. Man, what the hell is going on over here, brother? This sounds like something from Barney Fife. This is crazy. What if the district says they had to do it? investigation or maybe I don't know well sir guess what though you don't have to ask me he's right next to you she's right there why don't you ask them they do speak English mm. ask them there's a police chief for the district ask him did you know sir did you know chief nope. did you know about all of this oh no all of a sudden nobody want, nobody got nothing to say now well brother start putting handcuffs on these people yes. for failure to report because it embarrasses your office mm -hmm. for that to be going on on campus and detailed information given and you all not even conduct an independent investigation based on the allegations of students being prostituted. Nah, man. And not even so much as that, not even so much as that, even when you get any form of allegations in general period, that teacher was supposed to have been removed from this campus on administrative leave right. pending an investigation. That's just like when you're dealing with children in CPS. When you get a call on an allegation, they'll tell you in a minute to remove the child from the home. 
in order to conduct the investigation. That teacher should not still have had access to children with these type of level of uh, allegations. They left Period. a wolf in the chicken's coop. Mm. That's what they did. It's unbelievable. In my years of activism, three decades, I ain't never seen nothing like this. These people knew. Who's protecting the kids? These people knew. And they did nothing. And then had the nerve to come and lie to the public. We had no idea until the sheriff notified us and they were going to arrest her. That's a lie. It's a lie. We got the documents to prove it. We got the emails back and forth with district officials and the teacher. Man, this is criminal. It's a shame. Next question. What exactly is in there? Uh, how many people? Oh, we're we going to let you take pictures of all of it. When you get back to uh, the newsroom, y'all can go through it. Just describe the what, what, what we have people. Go ahead, uh, Okay, so what we have, we have the exchange between the former teacher and the district. Um, who was basically blowing the whistle on what was actually going on. Then we have information with the text messages from the person that is in Harris County who was trafficking those children uh, as far as we're retaliating against the, um, uh, the former school teacher. So we have emails between the district officials and this former teacher. So it's not like that they did not know because they did. And this is what this evidence showed, that this information was already known about. How did this, I guess, end with the former teacher after she filed the complaint and she reported They told her to either resign. Or be or terminated. They, they told her to either resign or be terminated. And she's working now in another district. She's in another district now. Was she fired from the district? She, was, she resigned. She resigned. She did what they, she did the ultimatum that they gave her. Either you resign or... Unreal. Or you'll be terminated. Unreal. Can, can somebody tell us a little bit about how the, the allegations against the teacher, like what exactly her role was? We know her son was trafficking. What about her? Like, what, what role did she play in this? Well, the mama slash teacher, Miss Grisby, was the recruiter, and she was a saleswoman. Wow. She was a part of the promotional team to make her son appeared like he could make a ship sell on dry land to young immature girls Runaways. and she tricked them manipulated them and then put them in contact with her son to be pimped and prostituted Man. so she was the liaison mm -hmm. the promoter she and was the facilitator and put like put them in motels and stuff and this is crazy. crazy this isn't this is unreal they had a tight operation she get motel rooms mm. for students runaway so they get, oh man, this is crazy. And Dr. Massey, you said this is your district. Uh, you were... Yeah, I feel some kind of way about it because this is my district. My children attend school in this district, okay? And I really feel some type of way about it because at the end of the day, our children all deserve a right to be in a school district where they are safe and where they are protected. And Absolutely. as a parent, we deserve the right to know if we have some sleaze balls that's in the school district, we need to know about it. Right. And we need to know so we know how we need to move with our children and how we need to move forward. You know, because this human trafficking stuff is real. We seen this in real life and in real time. I own a foster adoption agency. I have human trafficking victims in my agency. I go around this state dealing with human trafficking. This is nothing that's, that's a joke. This is serious. And for them not to take this seriously, this is a step level higher than a child being bullied. We're talking about children being trafficked, a billion dollar business. Yeah. We supposed to know about this. This is one of the highest in the nation. We are in the hub of human trafficking right here. I know damn well I got a teenage daughter. I will have a hissy fit. My daughter was in a dog and baby. I've been putting my finger in this ground and told it to turn this whole thing upside down. Hmm. I don't think so. Any more my questions? tax dollars pay here. I supposed to know. Do we know I pay has? high taxes too. It, does she have a bond? Like, what's her current status right now? You know, like. Well, we heard that she was in court this morning. What her condition, what a bond is, and conditions of bond. I'm not sure about that. Uh, how is that former teacher and her daughter doing? You said she was one of the victims. Uh, have they been? The, the former teacher, um, she feels vindicated at this point right now, but the daughter is still going through some emotional Absolutely. issues right now. But um, she's also seeking legal counsel because she was retaliated against for being a whistleblower and she got she got an open closed case if you ask me
But what's so painful, she reported this in February of 23. It's a long time. Gave them details. My details. And they left that wolf in here on campus, continuing to be a teacher until April of 2024. That's. You can't phantom the level of incompetence, ignorance, ignorance, and negligence by district officials. It's beyond belief to some degree. But we got the documents to prove it. Well, you know, this is what happens when you try to cover stuff up. You know what I mean? See, you have to shine the light like, like on a roach in the kitchen. You got to shine that light on it. And that's what has happened. What's your final message to school officials and to district officials? Would you like to say that? We've already said what we want from district officials. But let me say to the parents, if I was a parent of a student at this school, I'd raise holy hell to clean house. Oh, if I was a parent of, of my child went to this school, ain't nowhere in hell the principal would still be the principal or anybody else in that damn administrative team Absolutely. that knew about this. And I would be demanding an investigation by the district police department for failure to report child abuse. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for your time. Thank you for your presence. We appreciate it. Maybe they'll say something to you now. There are a lot of people out there today who either don't think trafficking is real or that it's a big deal or they have a misunderstanding, <clears throat> excuse me, about what trafficking is. And I'm going to tell you, I'll admit, if you had came to me 15 years ago, maybe 20 years ago about trafficking, I knew it was very real and that it existed. But I will admit, when it comes to trafficking, I just always picture women who were abducted, children who were abducted and put into prostitution, drug, not allowed to come home. You know, those types of things. That's what I envisioned. That's what I thought trafficking was. But then I, I came to realize, no, trafficking, you don't have to be a runaway necessarily to be trafficked. You could be living in your very own home and someone could groom you and traffic you. You could, uh, you, you could be trafficked by your own parents. It happens, you know. In this situation, you know, some of these girls were runaways, but some of them were not. Some of them were girls right there in the home. And I hope you really took from Quanell X's uh, com press conference and understand that you here you had a, a woman who taught at the, the very school. Her daughter went to that very school and she was the outcry witness a year in advance to this crime. And she gets fired. Well, an ultimatum, either resign or we're going to fire you. And nothing is done. Are you serious? And the district not taking any responsibility? You know, no, it, it's wrong. But people, and, and this is why it's so important, and, and I really want people to watch this video because I just think that people just don't get the seriousness of what it means to be trafficked. They really don't. And I hope that you're able to take something away from this and and even share it, you know, post it on your Facebook. Just just get it out there because this woman was a teacher and she's grooming and recruiting and turning these impressionable young girls over to her son to be their pimp. And by the way, in case you, you didn't catch it, this woman is married and has other children in the home. I, I can't fathom. I am Legacy Moon. I thank you for watching this video. If you are not subscribed to me, you might want to reach up there and hit that subscribe button and then that notification bell so that you know when I post my next video. And even if you don't subscribe, you're still welcome to come back and visit me. Now, the last thing I'm going to ask you to do is please, please, please hit that thumbs up. And keep me high, high, high 
in the rhythm of ALG.